I'm gonna begin sandbars. I mean, I'm just gonna put this out there. I didn't like William an awful amount to begin with, but I actually felt that was one of the film's strongest aspects in the sense that he's not, uh, it's not a pity fest. He's not just this source of sort of empathy. I'm just wondering if the fact he's flawed and the fact he's so real was one of the great appeals for you to get involved. You've just hit the nail on the head. Um, I mean, I think it's real. It's real. He's real. You know what I mean? To me, he was he was real. Um, I had to kind of get into the mindset of someone, you know, going through something that I can't, fa you know, I can't fathom. I can't fully understand what it is to have kind of been through what he he'd been through. At the same time. You know, I think something like that would affect most people in, you know, an extreme way. And like doing the research that I'd done and, and, and especially being familiar with the source material and, you know, being restricted in that sense. But speaking to people along the way, I, I'd realised quickly that everyone who goes through something like this, ha you know, has a very, very different way of embracing it. Some people embrace it, some people cannot learn how to deal with their new life and I think for Will it's that's that's him the way that he lived his life prior to the accident was a certain way and once that had been taken from him like he couldn't understand how to get away from that and I think what I'm trying to say is every single person who, who goes through this has a very very different journey and this is his journey and this is a journey that I think you know you know I had to learn to understand and the reasons why he, he was a certain way. And it, it was challenging at times and took me into very, very dark places. But I think that that's credit to him, really. I'm, I'm sort of, I sort of learned to be very sort of proud and admire him for his decisions and for things that he did. And you realize that actually everything, well, for, in my opinion, everything he does is a selfless act. It's, it's very, very, he's releasing, in his mind, he's releasing people um, as well as kind of ending the pain. Because I was on a set visit recently, and one of the characters had a, a was a Burns victim, and the the real person the film was based on was on set, and the guy who was playing him, the actor, Tom um, Riley, that's the one, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, he was. He said that he. It was when he took off the the kind of prosthetics and the, the makeup at the end of the day was when he realised just how what that person has to go through because he realised the freedom he had in taking it off. It, was that something that again, you really felt? I. It's one of those things. Of course, I, I wasn't taking the wheelchair home with me, but like I was taking everything else with me. The weight of the decisions that he made, the the, the sort of the weight of, of, of the research that I'd done, the people I'd spoken to, the, the sort of realization that I, as Sam Claflin, am not dealing with this on a daily basis. I'm dealing with it for a few hours every day. You know, the fact that when they say cut, I can stand up and go over there and make myself a coffee. You know, it, it, affects, it affected me. And it was a real eye opener for me. Um, and one, it challenged me the process of filming this, not only physically, like the, probably the most, fi no, no, easily the most physically demanding thing I've ever done, um, but mentally and emotionally, it pushed me further than I've ever been pushed. And, um, you know, I, I embraced that challenge, but at the same time, you know, I think it has changed me, you know, wholeheartedly um, uh, and who, how I perceive life. But the, the film itself almost survives off Louise's infectious kind of enthusiasm. Yeah. And I'm just wondering, when you're around, um, on set alongside opposite playing opposite a character like that does that energy rub off on you though yeah I, it was definitely very difficult to keep a straight face yeah. <laughs> um through the you know the early early parts of of uh, filming you know post accident actually during during we were very very lucky that myself and amelia uh, neither of us had any filming commitments prior to filming and therefore we were able to kind of rehearse and prepare together and i was going through a very very rigorous uh, exercise regime and like was on a very very strict diet so it was basically at a very low point and very tired and very weak and was sort of like reducing my body weight massively but during rehearsals I was really I really didn't want to be there and I was very very angry and very tired at times and all I remember Thea saying was like channel channel that use that and remember how you feel right now, because when we start filming, you're gonna need your energy, so we're gonna start feeding you again. Not that they were restricting <laughs> my meals, but you know, like she was just saying, channel that, remember how this feels. And it, as much as, again, as I said, I'll never fully understand what it is to go through what Will's been through. I think, a sh you know, there was a flavor, a hint of that kind of hatred to the world um, that, that, that I sort of try to bring 
into the into the into the room. So um, it was very very you know demanding and draining, but something that I really really enjoyed doing. Well, thanks so much for your time today. Thanks, much appreciated. Cheers. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching. Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys. Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice.